man, this is not going to be fun. How's it going with everybody today? I finally, uh, I jumped in the pool. I ripped the Band-Aid off, however you want to call it. I'm outside instead of not in my nice warm house. 20 below last night, people, and they're shutting power off to parts of the town. And just yesterday, I was contacted by the power district who runs all the natural gas and electricity over in my work area in, in Iowa, on the western part of Iowa, and was told to reduce our natural gas usage or threaten to be a uh, cut off. Uh, they did explain the situation as far as they did uh, have um, uh, a situation in Texas where the natural gas wells froze up, our supply was diminished, and we're basically running off resources that were stored and are reserved. In the Omaha area is the biggest town next to me. They are going through rolling blackouts, and it's only a matter of time before we're affected by that ourselves. Now, it's ironically that the birds are out chirping and stuff, so it's good to know that Mother Nature still knows how to handle itself when it is 20 below out. <laughs> Either way, I'm talking a lot. We have to get to business. We're going to go down to the barn, the cold, cold barn, and we're going to try to get this generator up and running. Uh, I need to have an auxiliary power source to power my at least my heat in my house, if nothing else, at least the heat in my house to keep us warm if we start experiencing these power outages. Honestly, right now, I just cannot fathom the situation we're in, and a lot of people are in. Uh, I just finished up the live stream, and we were talking about how my friends in Texas are basically are without power for a long amount of time, and without water, pipes are bursting. Everybody in the South is just devastated by this. You never realize how fortunate you are or how lucky you are to have the things that we have. Uh, heat, water, shelter, food, all of it. I mean, I didn't realize that we are that fragile and we have been that privileged this whole time. But I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna be cut off guard again. We have been caught with our pants down, people, and it is not a fun situation. How cold is it in the shop? I don't know, what is that? About seven below, six below. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this old Generac generator going. The problem we're having with it is the guy who gave it to me, he was on a job site, they were they, it was brand new, they were running it. He said it ran about two hours and it just stopped running. And the fact of the matter was they didn't have time to deal with it, so they just bought another generator and threw it to the side. That was nine years ago. That fire is rolling, guys, but it is not putting a dent in this cold garage. But I am on my own. And to make things easier is I gotta get that generator on this tool bench to take that carburetor apart. I don't know if you guys watched uh, Dutch's last video with him and uh, hey, Kevin trying to get that generator in the back of the truck. I'm kind of having doubts about getting this generator on this table by myself. But let's give it a shot. Thank God I drank that Red Bull today. Let's see if it really gives me wings. If not, it'll give me a herniated back. <clears throat> It wasn't that bad. Jeez, guys, you guys act like that thing was heavy or something. Those who are worried that this is generator's not big enough to run my house, I don't plan on running my whole house. We just plan on running at least the emergency heat on our furnace, or we have space heaters and we will consolidate to a bedroom to conserve the heat. Guys, I really apologize for like my breath and how cold it is like getting on the lens or fogging out a picture, but it's a situation we're in. So what I've done so far is I checked for spark. I pulled the wire, spark plug wire, off the spark plug, and I put a screwdriver in there. Now, I ran that screwdriver to a ground in the motor to make sure it's grounded out properly, and I gave her a couple tugs. You guys know, I checked spark, it has spark. Uh, the next thing is, is since we have spark, I'm gonna pull the plug and see if there's an issue with the plug and then we'll just start spraying starting fluid. 
my camera is shutting off and not recording and or deleting the video and I don't know why but it's cold and I'm thinking it has something to do with it I do have a spare battery in my pocket though in my pocket to stay warm but what we missed because my video app my camera's acting up was that this spark plug is just great condition I when he said that he only ran this a couple hours I believe him because this spark plug's in good shape. Oh, man, my flanges. Put my gloves back on. My flanges are getting cold. That fire is, that fire is roaring pretty good now. But still not putting a dent in this cold garage. The fact that it has spark is telling me that at least the ignition system is in good shape and that the oil float switch safety low oil safety switch is not engaged or shorted out oh my gosh you know your fingers just don't work when when it's just cold out She wants to run so let's let's drain this gas out and get some fresh stuff in her now let's hope I can get this fuel line off with how cold it is outside without tearing it or breaking it there we go Whew. man that's some stinky gas can you imagine buying a brand new generator you're on a job site you're working it stops running you panic. You're in panic mode. You have to get this job done. You don't have time to mess with this generator. You go and you, you buy another one and you just throw this one to the side. And then you give it to a guy because you're so upset at this generator. You just give it to a guy and he calls you back and tells you, I figured out what's wrong with your generator. And, he, and he's probably thinking, oh man, what, what could be possibly wrong? Wasn't getting any fuel. It was clogged up. Can you imagine if you were told that? The money you spent on this and the frustration it put you through and you realized it was it was this these are the opportunities where knowing how to work on something or just giving it a going a going shot at trying to figure out what's wrong with something and uh you know other people's opportunities or other people's misfortunes become your new opportunities so those skill sets come in handy to save you money down the road now this person is a co-worker he is a friend of mine he has been asking about the generator. He hopes it's easy. He hopes it's an easy fix. So I'll be sure to let him know that it's possibly a fuel thing, but we're not out of the woods yet. I gotta pull this apart, figure out why it's not getting fuel out of there. And then we gotta get this thing running on its own power. I think I may have been drinking a couple beers one night and drained this thing out already. You may wanna ask why I find that concerning because I'm back basically at square one again. I thought we weren't getting fuel and come to find out. There wasn't a whole lot of fuel in there to begin with. I must have drained it out not long ago. So that tells me it's probably in the carburetor. We're just gonna let that drip. I gotta get that old gas out of there anyways. And uh, we'll work on taking this carb apart. Carburetor has been extracted. Let's open her up and see what's inside this little nasty bugger. I bet she's uh, tarnished up pretty good. Man, I hope I, this gasket's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, this little booger right here, this little seat, she's gonna be your problem. So we're gonna pull this float out, check down in that seat, go from there. So we're just gonna pull this pin out and just slide out real easy like, and this should just come right up top. I know this is starting fluid, but it all works the same. And not only is it freezing out, but I got starter fluid on my hands now. Whoo! Cold. You're not going to be able to see this, 
but there's a little tiny hole in that and it is pretty much plugged up. Oh, it's so tiny. That's what she said. Hat. All right. All right, I got this one out. That's how tiny that drill bit is, guys. You can barely even see it, but we're gonna run this through here. Oh yeah. We're gonna clean that all out. Oh my gosh, you can see through it now. And guys, when I say little, this drill bit is smaller than a sewing needle. Don't ask me where I got this from. It's something I lifted off my old man because I needed it for making like model cars or doing something like that. But this thing is super tiny and it's, it's coming handy more than once. And I, it's safe to say I've probably broken half the bits in here as a child. So, but today, and unplug this jet. So I'm gonna get this carburetor put back together. She is still got the drip. We'll get this old gas out of here, put some fresh stuff in there, and uh, we'll give her a pull and see if she starts her own power. Since we started that fire, if you guys remember in the video, beginning of the video, how cold it was in here? How cold do you think it is in here now? Well, let's just say it's only minus I don't know, four degrees. <laughs> so we got the carburetor back on this generator. We're about to fire it up. I'm gonna spray a little starter fluid in it. I have the gas line hooked back up. We have a little bit of gas in here. It's not full because I don't wanna have to drain all this stuff out if this thing doesn't work. So we're gonna fire up and see what she has. Let's see what she does. shut her off that's all we need we don't need to fill this place up with uh with exhaust so i'm gonna put the air filter back on and then we're gonna check the oil real quick see what the condition is going on in there all right so that's on breakers on gas is on um choke choke is on You guys like that? <laughs> That's some redneck ingenuity right there. She's warming up. I back off that choke a little bit more, but the real trick is, is that little governor going to work when I pull the choke all the way off? We obviously know she produces power. And we'll be going into this outlet right here with our three prong plug. I think my generator situation is uh, taken care of. Just gotta wire it up. I'm not gonna bore you with all that stuff. That's uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory. And uh, we're gonna go get fuel for that bad boy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like. Like I always say, it does us a lot of good and it don't cost you a thing. So I appreciate you guys watching. Guys, take care of yourself. Everybody, we'll get through this, so. Help out your neighbor if your neighbor needs help. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.